let's get into the scores here, guys, because it's a Monday, which means we got to recap week three. Oh, yeah. Got to recap it. Ooh, what happened in that game? We need some more cowbell. <laughs> so I've got a fever, and there's only one cure. <laughs> it's more cowbell. <laughs> so we are going to do this a little more condensed than we usually do, guys, because the fact we had an actual game to go over here and do the, you know, the uh, preview of here. So we're going to do this a little more fast and furious style than we have been doing here. So before we get into how we did this week, because there's still a couple of games going on. Before we get into that part there, as of right now, before this week started here, remember that I have a little bit of a lead. Not a crazy lead, but a little bit of a lead at that point there. I'm up by eight points to start this week. So let's go over the games, and then we'll go over how we're how we're doing here. So Rob gets a chance to go through my math here, because I did make one mistake he pointed out before the show happened. <laughs> Damn, he caught me cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go quick on this, Rob. We'll go one by one All at right. that point, so we can get this done quick. So go for it. Take, take it away. Take it away. All right, Thursday Night Football, we talked about this already, that the Jets won 24-7, which – we thought it would be a little bit of a closer game. Uh, we both took the Jets to win, the uh, Pats to cover, and we took the under. So we went 1-0-1. 24-3. 24-3. to What did I say? Just did seven. No, whatever. <laughs> there Same we go. Same thing. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, hey, stonk. Of course, we had our game. Again, if you didn't see it already, we had our, our uh, post-game show on <laughs> – uh, available still on YouTube, Facebook, and all that as well. And of course, audio podcast. Uh, Giants beat the Browns 21 to 15 on what seems closer than what it actually was because if it wasn't for that fumble to start the game and the first play being a touchdown to Mari Cooper, it'd be 21 to 8, and that'd be a blowout at that point there. But nice to have a blowout for once, huh? Yeah. You're up. Yo. All right. Up next, we had the Bears going to the Indianapolis to play the Colts. The Bears. The Bears and the Bears do what they do, what they've constantly been doing. They look like the Bears. They lost 21 to 16. Drew, we hit that trifecta because we both took the Colts to win, the Colts to cover, and we also took the under, which gave us one, one, and one. Whoop, 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 whoop. Spread. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Next up, we got the Texans at the Vikings. And oh, my God, guys, the Vikings, maybe they are for real. The 3 and 0. Darnold's looking good. They put up 34 points against the Texans, which are a defensive coach team at that point. Only gave them up seven. I mean, that's a pretty stacked offense there. Like That's solid, solid win by the Vikings that I think pretty much nobody saw coming. <laughs> no, not at all. Not even the Viking fans. Exactly. <laughs> With the Vikings themselves, let's be honest. Yeah. Sam Darnold's like, I'm winning games? How is oh, this possible? No. That yeah. would happen in New York. But... <laughs> yeah. This is what it's like to win. All right, up next, we had the game that was almost the upset of the week. Almost watching the magic of the Saints continue walking down. The Saints wind up losing this game in a tragic fourth uh, fourth quarter comeback, if you will. Uh, Eagles win 15-12. Drew, we both took the Saints to win this game. Uh, yeah, they're so hot. We took the Saints to cover, and we also took the over. So we hit the reverse trifecta. We yep. got a goose egg. And, guys... I know a lot of people are knocking the Eagles for how low they were on scoring-wise on offense. I, I hate to give them kudos there, but they just stopped an offense that's been tearing apart. I mean, obviously, they've been tearing apart the Panthers and the Cowboys defense. I'm not trying to say they've faced the most stellar defenses in the world yet. Anytime you put 40 points on average against NFL teams, you're doing something right. That's 100%. not 25 to 30. That's a legit, I'm blowing the hell out of these people, especially if they went up with 30 the 33 points they put up on the Panthers in the first half, like that's yeah, they, that's they, they had to taper it back down. Yeah, they definitely did. They could have probably broken NFL records at that point there. So uh Chargers at the Steelers in the game that uh, whew, we thought that the, the Steelers had come down to earth at that point. Nope. Steelers won 20 to 10. And now Justin Herbert is injured on top of that, too. So we'll have to find out what's going to go on with them for next week there at that point. But you know, if, if he's out, whew, that's that's not good there. Uh, I don't yeah. injury update there. I did get today that the x-rays were negative, but we'll have to see how he is overall there uh, because anytime you get an ankle injury, guys, guess what you do every time you step? Use your ankle. Like that's not good. So we'll see what happens there. Next up. 
Next up, we had probably the upset of the week. We had yeah, Broncos week going in. Broncos going into Tampa Bay playing the Bucks. Broncos pull up the upset, twenty six to seven. Drew, we both took the Bucks to win this game, but I was a crazy son of a gun who took the the Broncos to cover in the spread, which they won. So obviously they covered, and we both took the under this. So I got a, a little off on you in this one. A little bit, not much. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we got the Packers at the Titans in the Malik Willis Bowl. And yeah, the Packers did what the Packers have been doing, just playing smart football, not letting Willis throw the ball too often, <laughs> letting their defense do its thing, and letting him run because he does do that very well. Uh, I hate to say it, but he's kind of like DJ. Um, he, they he's won. Improving on DJ right now. Well, no, I don't think that. He's just got better weapons around than DJ's ever had around him, including this year. It's a stacked team, dude. That Packers team is stacked. Uh, but yeah, Packers win 30 to 14. And I wouldn't be surprised, guys, if the end is coming soon for Will Levis, the way he's been playing. I know they focus, they said some positive things about him, but that man's been putting way too much mayo in his coffee. It's time. He's been quite entertaining to watch, so. Ah, he's, been, he's been making some really bad plays, but almost every single week that you go, what the hell? Like, you shouldn't make this in the NFL. I don't he's care if you're a young very player or not. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 been kind of rough. Now, Mason Rudolph, by the way, is their backup, if anybody is curious. So not exactly a guy that's going to push the envelope there, but he's a guy who's got a lot of experience in Pittsburgh and did get a few starts there because, you know, Big Ben got injured on a regular basis. Yeah. He also got himself to cut, too, but that's besides the point. Yeah. Up next, another upset that Drew picked. Ooh. Absolutely right. So even to right back at. I was half right. I was half right. Yeah. I didn't get the winner yeah. right. I got the spread right. Yeah, the Panthers go in. Well, I mean, same thing with the Broncos. Yeah. Right, but yeah, the Panthers go into Vegas, play the Raiders. Panthers win. The Red Rocket himself throws it up there, 36 to 22. And then, of course, I took the Raiders. You took the Raiders to win. But you took the Panthers in the spread, which is a smart enough move. And you took the over. Damn straight. Now, remember what I said, though, when coming to that game? I said I went back to what the, the, uh, the Panthers did the previous year with Dalton when he started that one game for Bryce Young against the Seahawks, which Seahawks got a decent secondary, young secondary, but a decent secondary, and he put up over 300 yards. I said, watch, this is what's going to happen. I think you're going to see a different Panthers team now going forward. I really do, and I'm not saying they're going to be a great team, but they're not going to be the embarrassment they have been because there is some it, talent there. There is yeah, some you, talent. You don't be the, this bad for this long and not pick up talent. You no. might be a Panthers team that gets five or six wins this year. I mean, you got, you got you got a young wide receiver core that's led by the veteran uh, Adam Thielen, who obviously is young himself. But you got you know um, you know a couple of, of recent draft picks that are kind of going there. You got Miles Sanders, who's shown he can do something in the past. You know, I mean, there's there's some players there, guys. This isn't isn't the empty yeah. cupboard that it appeared when Bryce Young was there. He just didn't have the arm strength or the height to see over the offensive line. That's the problem. Sorry. <laughs> maybe he should like contact Gene Simmons about borrowing a pair of boots next time he gets a chance to start. Or maybe call up, you know, um, someone else that was in this conference for a really long time in his, uh, his own division there, Drew Brees. Drew also Brees is a great. big man compared to Bryce Young. I'm sorry. Yeah, but they're both, aren't they both 5'9"? Uh, I think I think uh, Brees was a little bit um, a little you bit say bigger. Five ten. Exactly. You give so, him an inch on him. Five ten is the. Oh, they give me, why didn't they give me a weight? I hate when they don't. Okay, five oh. ten, two hundred four pounds is what they got at that point for him. Drew Brees, let's see. He's like five six nine, probably two twenty. He, he's six oh, foot even. He, that's because he put socks in his cleats. And maybe that's what he needs to do. Maybe that's what Bryce Young needs to do. Okay, put some goddamn socks in the cleats at that point. But yeah, uh, six foot even and two hundred nine pounds. So about the same height, well, about the same uh, weight wise there at that point, um, you know, a couple pounds, five pounds there difference, but the height is still a difference. It's two inches. Two inches is a lot. Okay, I've been told that many times. <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> <That's even context>. <laughs> <laughs> next up, <laughs> we got the uh, the Dolphins at the Seahawks, which is. Basically, what I expected to happen at that point, you take 
good quarterback play out of the mix and you know bad things will happen for the Dolphins there not a stellar defense not a stellar offensive line just got a lot of offensive weapons at that point there but now no one to throw it to him uh Seahawks win 24 to 3 yeah sad game up next you're going into the 425 game you got the Lions going into Arizona for a little bit of a fun match there not too much fun Arizona just can't seem to get together. Uh, Lions win 20 to 13. And Drew, we did a pretty good job picking out this game. And uh, yeah, I took the under, which gave me the trifecta in this game. Whoop, so. whoop. There you go. All right. Then we got the game of the week for Giants fans, besides our win, because we got to see the Cowboys lose. <laughs> and they tried and tried and tried and come back, <laughs> and they didn't quite do it. And this was at home, guys, where the Cowboys couldn't lose last year, basically. Um, no. Ravens win 28 to 25, and the game was not that close for most of it, guys. Like I said earlier, they, they really tried, tried to come back, and they really made it an interesting game at the end there, but didn't quite finish that comeback there. Ravens win. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, next, you got right, the... by the way, Rob. Oh, you definitely did, because I, 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 I don't know. I, I... Thought for some reason that the Ravens would go 0 and 3. Like a, a <laughs> butthead. But no game I but no game I did get right in the spread. Was the next one up was the Niners playing in LA against the Rams. Okay, you said this is a get right spread. game for this team. And I said, no, divisional game. It's gonna be I close. Know. But the Niners wind up pulling out the uh sorry, the Rams wind up pulling out the win 27 to 24, which means we both lost a straight up. I got the spread on this. And Senior Drew, I also took the over, and you took the under. Yep. I had a lot of unders this week. I had a lot of unders. So, all right. Underwear. Then we got Sunday night. The night, Chiefs night, night. at the Falcons. And the Chiefs have to win or else the NFL refs don't get a bonus check in the Piers game. Um, the Chiefs win. 22 to 17, and definitely, definitely more and more people complaining about the calls going the uh, the Chiefs their way. Uh Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, guys, that's what happens when you win on a regular basis. I don't know why. Always every single game, and I mean, not even just football. Every single sport. How many foul, how many foul calls does LeBron James get when he just goes ooh? <laughs> like, like it just happens. Like, well, just, also let's let's just be real too. Like, we we did this for the past two decades against the, the Patriots. And the Patriots are playing the same, like making the same mistakes. But when those don't go their way, like people aren't saying this and that because they're irrelevant. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely yeah, a little crazy, a little crazy. That's for sure. So we got two games going on now, guys. You got the yeah. the the Bills right now as we're as we're talking are up thirty seven to ten in the fourth quarter. I think it's pretty safe to say the Bills will definitely win that game. Uh, I think it's safe to say that the uh, the the, the over hit over. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen unless all of a sudden somebody takes away points somehow so yeah that's gonna be there um let's assume that for a second that this score stays the same with the commanders at that point that puts them at 41 points as of right now so that would be the under and obviously the Bengals were favored so if that's what happens hypothetically let's oh, see here. throw this in this is listen there's a still 20 minutes of football after that game. We'll see what happens. But if that's what happens, you and I both ended up 50-50 on the straight-up wins. Um, I got nine of the spread picks. You got seven. So not a bad week there for either one of us really on that. Um, on the over-unders, same thing. I got nine. You got seven. And then I, I, you got, I got two trifectas, meaning win, spread, and over-under. You got three, so you got me one up on that, which would have me as winning by three this week if the scores stay as they are. We'll have to see how that happens, especially the over-under in that Bengals and, and Commanders game. That's the one that I'm really going, okay, that could really change some things at that point there. Oh, yeah. Um, Bengals which would play, put, goes to the over. Yeah, which would put me still up by just one for the week, basically, if that happened, as opposed to the, the three that I'm up right now So at that point. So, um you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens there. But as of right now, that put me up by eleven points right now for the for the for the for the year. It's gonna take one bad week in October for you for me That's to it. come right it's back. What happened yeah. last year? Yeah. I'm not gonna. I've been trading for this all off season. God damn it, Rob! It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So. 
If you like that clip, then you will love the full episodes too. Find us on your favorite podcast app and look for us on all your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much. Please, I'm 